John McEnroe and Pat Cash sitting nice and cosy in the commentating booth right on court. What a great spot to see the match from, man. Hey, we've got some good air conditioning here. It's a hot one outside today. It's going to be interesting to see what develops, Pat. Two best players of the tournament battling it out today for the trophy and the prize money. Expect a great match. Elected to serve. Time. Ready? Well, Mac, I'll tell you what, this could be a ripper. Let's get into it. So you're hitting ball straight up and down to your opponent. Why should you hit the ball to the side? It's easier to hit the ball standing there when you know where it's coming than it is when you're on the full run. So you got to test an opponent right away to see what he's capable of hitting the ball on the run. And secondly, what type of fitness level he has. Because let's face it, as the mass progresses and you start wearing down, it's tougher to come up with those running passing shots. And then we're underway again. Oh, one foot of his opponent. And that's where he's unbelievably strong. I mean, from that position, to be able to hit a clean winner just shows how strong he really is. The pros and cons of hitting your shots deep. The pros are you give your opponent less time to come up with a pass and less confidence that he'll be able to do something with it. The cons, none. 30, 15. then didn't over hit the volley pushed it right down the line for a winner I mean something else what a backhand down the line and game point now few doubts in your mind and that could be the error the first serve is crucial here on this break point
the well. It was a tight game, wasn't it? But he ended up winning it. It's what makes tennis so great, that do sad, do sad uh, dilemma that you're faced with. The game seems like at times it'll never end, but he got the job done. All right, what about a bad tactics? On the hard court, bad tactic, drop volley perhaps? Now, the grips are a lot different than they used to be. You, bigger swings, western grip. You get it low enough, when they get below the net, it's tougher for that western forehand for either the men or the women to put as much on as you like. But boy, if they get it over the net and they have a little bit of time, you're in some big trouble. Oh, a tough shot, backhand down the line for a winner. As we saw in that game, he uses his legs quite well, uses the knees to thrust up to the ball, and it's just very impressive. And we're off again. When you see him volley like that, you wonder why he doesn't do it more often. That's great touch, isn't it? No, into the net with that back end. You might be happy. allows him to torque that back and gives him an edge with some spins and he can pop it. Well, he's a talent, this Djokovic. What a brilliant winner. He's got to get his serve focused here. This is big. Oh, disappointing. Shouldn't be double folding. For sure. <laughs> Covered the net like a blanket. Finally, a break point in this match. Well, but can he take the opportunity? Yeah, it's not these break points aren't easy to come by. Well, that'll give him confidence getting the first break in the set. I tell you, it's frustrating. You hit a big serve, and next thing you know, you lose this the game and the break of serve. You start to second guess yourself. So that's a big break right there. Okay, the player is looking for a, a strong service game here to consolidate the break and really take control of this match. That's the place to be on top of the net, smashing the ball away. Oh, 